notice that it has silicone on it, okay. or at least color burst, mm -hmm. and the silicone doesn't run all the way up the wires. Okay. And there's two reasons for that. One, the silicone here is bonded onto the um, metal, and two, it gives you a nice uh, whipping feeling. There's a nice balance about this. You also notice that we have a pretty straightforward handle for chefing. Okay. And we looked at a lot of different handles. We looked at, you know, ergonomic handles and how would be the best way to grab something. And we really went, you know, at the end of the day, what you're looking for is really just a basic handle. Exactly. Something you can easily grip onto, no nonsense. And we spent all our mental energy, and there's a lot of it at Chefin, oh, yeah. with the working end. Okay. So all these tools that you see here will have some nice, fresh story about the working end. So this is just great, great for whisking. Um, and it comes in two different sizes, correct? You've got the it does. tall and the short, which you're using right now. You've got your big and small jobs always in the kitchen. And this, okay. as you'll notice, is a melamine bowl, and I'm not mm -hmm. scraping the bowl. If I had a nonstick pan mm -hmm. that was Teflon coated or something, yeah. I could easily use it there. That's perfect. And so it does have a heat resistancy as well, just in case you had something and if that was... pan was just about on fire at mm -hmm. 650 degrees Fahrenheit, you wow. could still use your whisk in it. Well, look at that. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's cute 3D cake shapes. They're called the cake creatures, and they're made using these 3D silicone cake molds. You can create any creature you can imagine from cake, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. To start, open the mold and spray both sides with a non-stick cooking spray. Add about a teaspoon of flour, then close the mold and shake, making sure that the flour coats all sides evenly. Next, open the mold and dump out the excess flour now the creatures work with any kind of cake mix. I've made a simple vanilla one here. You're going to want to use about a third of a cup and just fill the creature with it. Next, close the sides and make sure that you seal them tightly and then place your creature on a baking sheet, ready to cook. The chef and pastry pen also works to fill the cake creatures. Coming out of the oven, the silicone molds are going to be very hot. Let them sit and cool for at least five minutes. You can see here that some ejection of the batter out of the back is totally normal. Once the molds have cooled, open them up, and there you have it. The result is a 3D cake shape that stands completely on its own. Now it's time to make your cupcakes come alive. It's so easy to add hair, fur, Googly eyes. I love this part. The cake creatures work great by themselves, or you can use them as cake toppers to set the theme for a party. It's up to you. Just get creative.